All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So as some of you, especially my regulars, you know that uh, now more and more, Saturday is becoming the day of rest, the day of um, taking a moment to just settle in, you know, use it as a way to not uh, officially work, to just spend time at home, spend time with uh, my, my life partner, my wife, and also to just use that time as a way of um, actively telling myself that today is my quote-unquote Sunday. So today was uh, a day definitely, you know, full of bliss. There was a lot of, uh, you know, deep relaxation. There's enough time that I got to be able to meditate. And, um, you know, if it isn't evident, I, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And um, it gave me a lot of time to reflect on how fortunate, how blessed I am to be living this life, to be doing the work that I do, to be helping people um, in the way that I get to do that and to be able to show up like this every single day. Now, obviously, you know this, um, you know, especially being a digital coach, it's not easy. Uh, and in my case, of course, this journey has been building up over a period of time, literally over the last 21 years. So, you know, as I reflected, as I paused to just let the words come to me, what is today's pod? Um, the word vision came up. And therefore, the question, which is a question to you as well, especially as a digital coach, which is what is your vision? Um, now, even more so, you know, as I was reflecting on the different conversations I was having with people today, and I was watching, I'll you know, definitely link the um, the YouTube video that I was watching earlier today, uh, which was, this is the first time I'm actually seeing this video, which was Steve Harvey uh, being, I guess you could call it maybe like semi-interviewed by Grant Cardone. And for me, what, what drew me to, to watch that pod, that, that interview was uh, Steve Harvey. And, uh, you know, especially now, more and more every day, there's that awareness about, you know, money, about wealth, about really being able to, um, to give enough credence, to give enough value to really, you know, wanting this to be in, in my life. And I'm sure you have that even in yours. Uh, so, you know, and that's, if you really think about it, you know, you've been hearing me say this now for some time, which is, or maybe this is the first time that you're watching me or listening to me, which is this, right? It is all about, you know, like literally I can teach you how to maximize your market value. So the key words are maximize your market value, which has everything to do with money, which has everything to do with, you know, your money beliefs, your, you know, beliefs about you, yourself, what you do. Uh, you know, the the the, the dreaded um, uh, imposter syndrome, to, to name a few. So what I'm getting at here is, as I was, in fact, watching Steve Harvey, and here is somebody who is, you know, just a little over 62. And, um, you know, he's obviously had a life that he has. But even today, he's literally, you know, showing people at this conference a vision board that he has, even though he's obviously you know, done well for himself. He's, you know, earning money. He's making money, as they say. Um, so to me, that that really kind of, you know, rung, um, that that really connected deeply, right? It rung a really loud bell in my, in my head. And, you know, if you're somebody that's, um, maybe you've had, um, like a very mixed relationship with money before, uh, you know, one, it's never too late, right? And as long as you are willing to 
to learn as long as you're willing to recognize the patterns. Notice, you know, why are you this way? Um, that is going to pave the path for you to literally have whatever it is that you want. That's the first thing. But in addition, one thing that that definitely struck me, and this is something that I heard, you know, Steve say over and over again, which is, you know, when you when you literally make room for your goodness, right? And let me just, in fact, quote that line because it was really, really powerful. Give me a moment while I, as you can tell, I do not plan these. It just literally comes to me, the topic. And the, the expression that Steve kept quoting was this, your gift will make room for you. And, you know, if you believe in God, take it as God will, because you have that gift already inside of you. So your gift will make room for you. And that is going to be your process. Now, maybe you've been just doing this for a few years, or maybe like me, you've been doing it for many, many years, right? Wanting to really figure out or, or really get good at what you do, or uh, somehow you've tried many different things, but you keep finding yourself coming back to this one thing that you truly love and that you're really, really passionate about. And remember, it's like your gift will make room for you. So very simply put, if you feel that, yes, I'm meant to teach people, if you feel I'm meant to, you know, create stuff, right? Because, I mean, I, uh, you, you may or may not know this, but I'm a big fan of DIY channels, especially on YouTube. And sometimes I wonder why or how is it that these people who are, you know, uh, people who are into woodcraft or metalworks or whatever it is, right? And especially in the, in, in the American context, right? What is it that, that makes them believe that they can, you know, create a channel solely around creating something, right? And that's the, that is sort of like a, a reminder that this is why it happens. Because if you truly believe that, you know, I am meant to do this, right? Whether that's being a, you know, selling something, uh, insurance or whatever it is that you believe, you're, excuse me, you're meant to sell or you're creating something or you're teaching, right? Um, or whatever that, that skill is. It's, 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 you know, when you go beyond skill and you realize that it's the gift, that is when things start to shift. And I can tell you in my life over the, the last two decades, uh, I've known this deep down inside. You know, it's about working with people. It's about, you know, creating that transformation. But somehow, um, you know, in my case, it took me this, this length of time to truly connect with what I do. And as you know, that's why it's there even in the line, right? It's there on my website, India's premier self-hypnosis coach. So the key word here is hypnosis, which means when I work with people, that is my gift to be able to tap into the power of the unconscious and to be able to help you literally find whatever it is that's missing or to, to build whatever wasn't there before, right? So if it is, you know, we're talking about, you know, beliefs, maybe till now you've only been looking at your negative beliefs. And I do know this, that when we work together, it's your positive beliefs that get built. Now, Obviously, over a period of time, what I've also realized is it's important for people to be able to build this skill into their own lives. And that's where self-hypnosis comes into play. So why am I saying all of this? Remember, this, this podcast, this, these um, you know, daily pods that I upload are for you as a way to remind you that you have something inside you. I mean, it, it's like, why is it that, you know, now literally every day for close to a year, I've been showing up every single day and recording and, and uploading videos? It's because somewhere inside of me, I've finally, you know, that bell has been rung. So I finally have heard that. And that vibration is what just keeps bringing me back over and over and over again. And it doesn't matter at the time of recording. And I say it doesn't matter as in that's not the metric that I'm using to show up, right? Because I'm now doing this, keeping the next 20, 30 years in my mind that this work that I'm doing is for that. And not just for me, it's for people that it reaches out to, right? And this is, mind you, this is 
even before uh, AI became a thing, like for most of us, and even now for a lot of the world, they don't even know it or know of it. But for a lot of us who are, let's say, more in the know, especially as digital coaches, we've not even scratched the surface. So imagine you are that person that's you know creating content and creating more and more and more for months and you know weeks, months and years, and then when you add in that flavor of AI, you know where I'm going with this, right? So just keep in mind that you do have a gift, and like I said, you know it's like what's your vision? What's that? If the vision maybe that word sounds um, a little too cheesy or you're like I don't know or I've tried but I don't know if it just doesn't seem to work think in terms of your gift right because if this is that thing that you do which truly gives you joy whether it's to with one person or a hundred or a hundred thousand doesn't matter but it's the 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 act of showing up and the act of doing that is what is giving you the energy then just keep doing it because I can tell you like now I'm also you know, connecting the dots as, as, as I speak in this moment. If I look back, that is what has kept me going these last 21 years. Because no matter what I did, it was always about being able to, you know, create that, that deeper connection in people, meaning that they connect with themselves, right? So if I look at even the avatars that I had, you know, using theater, right? Getting people to, to play beyond their their conscious uh, selves, right? And then at one point it was NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. And then of course, eventually it became hypnosis and you know hypnotherapy. And today it's all about you know teaching you self-hypnosis so that you can uh, start this journey for yourself. So it's like literally, you know, if I could, if I've done this, it just means that it's true, that we all do have that gift. And as long as you're willing to keep asking the questions, you will find what you're looking for. Okay, so if you needed to hear this, now it's been said. And, and I understand, as I, I feel your pain as a digital coach, it, it can be overwhelming, it can be difficult, it can be easy to, to, to discount and disregard um, what, you're, what you're drawn to. Because sometimes we tend to get um, distracted. So, you know, if you want to reach out, if you want to talk some more, I'm here to listen. And I know that I can truly help you. But again, it's, it, this is just me telling you that, you know, uh, I'm in your corner. Right? So I will be back, of course, with another pod. That'll be a day from now. And, you know, it is, it goes up on, on Facebook. You will definitely see this as, and you probably hear this as a pod on my YouTube channel. And yes, I've noticed that there are a lot of people that do watch, but do not subscribe. So subscribe and definitely, you know, share this with others who are, you know, we've, we've all been there. We've all struggled at different levels. And, you know, with time, for a lot of us, the struggle starts to get lesser and lesser. So. I want to thank you for getting to this point. And of course, uh, I will be back for more. As always, just a reminder, if you're that digital coach, especially where you've done all the work, you've, you've, you've you know, put in the time, but somehow, even though you've spent, you know, your, your time and of course your money on tools, technology and mentors, but somehow it's not showing up when you look at your bank balance, or like something's missing. You know, it's like, um, everything is not, not flowing the way it should, then, you know, it's time to, and I can tell you this, um, it is what you think is the real problem. Meaning it is not about them. It is not about your negative beliefs about yourself, but really it's about starting to build positive beliefs about yourself. And, you know, you don't have to do this alone. Right? That's why I've literally created this program. And the program is called Mera number kab aega, which basically means that if you feel like, okay, you know, when am I going to get that piece of the pie? When am I going to get my, my due? Um, I will definitely show you during the course of that um, workshop that happens on Sunday at 11 a.m. for 60 minutes. I'll show you how 
you can use self-hypnosis to be able to start to make that shift in your life and to be able to literally maximize your market value. Now, again, you know this, you know the drill, you've been through this. So the way this works is, you know, show up for one session and see if this works for you. If this works for you, then there's a lot more to come. If it doesn't, I can promise you this, what you experience in the session is going to help you literally move into what you're meant to. Even if that means you're, you know, finding somebody else's program, that's perfectly fine, right? So I look forward definitely to seeing you live, um, in person, uh, digitally. That's that's the correct expression. Uh, Sunday, 11 a.m. And of course, uh, and if I can help you in any way, definitely reach out and let me know. Uh, and I do answer my your messages directly. Yeah. So thank you so much. And uh, of course, as always, remember to live with purpose. So I'll be back with another one. Have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. God bless. See you in the next one.